I'm gonna show you how to take a YouTube video and repurpose it into a vertical video, including graphics, text, and animation using Keynote for Mac. Let's jump in. All right, the first step in the process is to extract the clip from my YouTube video. So I have my YouTube video here on the desktop. Now, I don't need to bring this video into iMovie or another editing application to extract the clip. All I need to do is select the video and hit the space bar. Is the fear of speaking on camera holding and back from creating quick look opens up the with the video playing. So I'll hit the pause video button video down video. here to stop the video from playing. So now here in the quick look interface, I just go up to the top bar here and select this trim button and I get this trimming interface in quick look. So now I can trim the clip from the full video right here. So to do that, I just drag on these yellow bars. So I'll drag on the left bar to determine where I want the clip to start. And then I drag on the right bar here to set the out point for the clip. Okay, to preview my trim, I can just hit the play button here. One of the biggest obstacles to putting yourself out there on YouTube is the fear of judgment and criticism. All right, I'll pause that. The end point seems good. I'll grab the red play bar here and drag it over near the end to test the out point. Hit play again by hitting the play button. Concentrate on delivering your message. Okay, there. Now that I've determined the end point and out point for my clip, all I need to do is go back up to the top of the quick look interface and select this done button. And then I get this dialog asking if I want to save my selection as a new clip or replace the entire video with this new selection. I want to keep my original video, so I'll select new clip. Then you get the save dialog and I'll just give this a new name. I'll call this clip. Let's just put clip at the end of the file name. I'll just save it to the desktop and hit save. And Quick Look saves out my clip. So now I'll just close the Quick Look interface by hitting the space bar. And then go over and grab my clip. And let's just check it to make sure that it's all there. So with it selected, I'll hit the space bar again One of the biggest obstacles to open Quick Look. Out there on YouTube is the fear of judgment and criticism. It gets in your head, you become self All right, so the beginning and seems and to be okay. I'll just go down here and pause for a moment. And I'll drag the playhead down to near the end of the clip just to make sure that the ending is okay. And I'll hit play again. Concentrate on delivering your message. Good, okay. So now that we have extracted the clip from the full YouTube video, let's hop on over to Keynote. All right, here in Keynote, I have a blank project open and it's open to the standard 16 by nine orientation here. Now to make our vertical video, I need to change the aspect ratio of this slide to be vertical. So to do that, I'm gonna go up to the top right and click on the document button up here. And then I'm gonna go down to slide size and I'll click the drop down menu and select custom slide size. And then I get this field where I can enter a custom slide size. So for a vertical video, I'm going to make the width 1080 and I'll make the height 1920 and click OK. And then we have our vertical slide to create our vertical video. I'm just going to zoom out a little bit so I can see the entire slide. OK, next I'm going to create an animated header up here at the top of the slide. So first I'm gonna create a background for the header. So I'll go up to the shape button in the top menu. And from the shape menu, I'll select this rectangle and I'll click and drag the rectangle and I'll just position it where I want to, the top of the slide. I'll stretch it out to cover the top there. Okay, now I'm gonna change the color of this. I want it to be a different color than white. So to do that, I'll head over to the top right again and select the format button. And down here under fill, color fill, I'll select the color wheel here. And I already have a custom color chip I have down here in the well, so I'll just select that. And I'll close out of the color selector. And so here is the background for the header. Next, I'm gonna put some text in this header. So I will select the text button from the top menu. And I get this text in the center of the slide. I'll just drag it up. 
on top here. And I'll double click to select the text. And I'm going to type in on camera fear. OK, now I'm going to size and format this text. I'll select it. And I'm going to go over to the right. And from the menu here, I'll select text to format. And I will change the font to Helvetica New. And I'll go down and select condensed black for the header. And then I'm going to up the size here by clicking on this interface here. And I'll click the up arrow. And it will size the text up until it's where I want it to be. So we'll get up there. And let's see what this looks like. I'll deselect to see. Yeah, it looks pretty good. So I'll click and make sure using the guides to center the text. And actually, let me just bring it up a little bit because I want to put a subtitle underneath here. All right, to create the subheading here, I'm going to go back up to the text button, select that, and I get another text object here. And I'll double click and I'll type in tip number one, aim to serve. OK, and I'll select this text. And I'm going to change the font from Helvetica New to, let's see, Avenir Next. And then I'll make that from this font menu. I'll select Bold. And I think I'll size it up a bit here. So I'll select this and size it up. Yeah, maybe 60. Next, I'm going to go up to the Style menu here. And from the Fill, I'm going to select from this menu a color fill. And from the color selector, I will select white. And now with my text still selected, I'm going to go back to the text menu. And I'm going to change the color of the text from white, because we won't be able to see it if it's white on white, to black. There. All right, I'll click off and see. All right, now I'm just going to rearrange these elements in the header here. I'm going to drag this out just to give it a little space between the font and the edge of the background. Let's make sure it's centered up. Nice. OK. And that's the header all laid out on our vertical slide. So the next thing I'm going to do is bring in the actual video clip that I exported out of Quick Look. So I'm just going to go over here, and I'm going to click and drag the video right onto the slide. And Keynote will give me this warning about the format. That's fine. I'll just select OK. And there is the video. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to drag these handles to resize the video so that it kind of fits into the slide a bit. Now you could just size this video all the way, or I could size the video to fill the rest of the slide. But I want to leave some room down here at the bottom for captions. So if I bring this into Instagram to make a story, I can put captions there. So I'm going to leave this open. I'm just going to resize this video a little bit more. And if you want to preview the video, you just can press the play button here, select the video and press the play button. One of the biggest obstacles to putting yourself out there on YouTube is the fear of judgment and criticism. And there's the video. It gets in your head. Click it again to stop. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is add an emoji to my vertical slide and my vertical video. So to do that, I need to bring up the emoji keyboard here in Mac OS. And to do that, we use the keyboard shortcut, Control, Command, Spacebar. And up comes the emoji keyboard. So for this particular slide or vertical video, I'm going to choose this awkward looking emoji because it goes with what I'm talking about with on camera fear. So I'm going to grab that click and drag it right onto the slide. There it is. I'll close the emoji keyboard. Now, this is obviously too small. To size it up, I can't really grab these handles because the emoji is, is, a, is like a text character. So I have to use the text control. So I'll just double click to select the emoji. Then I'll go over to the text controls here and go down and you'll see as I adjust these controls, the emoji gets bigger. So I'm going to put in a value here of 260 points 
and there is my emoji much bigger. So I'm just going to click and drag and position my emoji right here over my shoulder. There, so now we have an emoji as part of our vertical video. All right, now that I have all of the elements that I want laid out onto my slide, it's time to animate. So the first thing I'm going to animate is this heading text here, so I'll select it. Then I'll head over to the top right and select the Animate button. And then I have Build In, Action, and Build Out. So Build Out brings the object onto the slide. Action is for animation of an object already on the slide. And Build Out takes an object out of the slide or animates it off of the slide. So I'm going to use a Build In animation to bring in my heading. So I'll select Add an Effect. And you get all of these choices for animations. So I'm going to go down here and select Scale. That's nice and dramatic. So with that selected, I'm going to go come up here and just adjust some of these settings here for the scale animation. I'm going to make the duration. I'll leave it at 0.75 seconds. That seemed OK. Actually, let me, let me drop that down and make it a little faster. I'm going to drop that down to 0.3. And I can preview by pressing this button here. Yeah, that's a little more dramatic. Actually, let me make it 0.5. That's a little too fast. Preview again. Nice. I'm going to leave every other setting here as is. It works pretty well. So the next thing I'm going to animate is the subheading here, this text, tip number one. So I'll select that, head back over to animate, build in, add an effect. And this time I'm going to use a simple dissolve to bring on that text. That looks nice. I'm going to speed that up a bit. So I'll adjust the duration from one second down to point three seconds using the slider here. I can preview that again. Yeah, maybe a little slower. I'll go up to 0.5 seconds. Preview again. That's nice. I'll leave everything else as is. Looks pretty good. All right, next I'm going to animate the emoji onto the screen. So I'll select it. Go back up to the animate section. Make sure build in is selected. Select add an effect. And for this one, I want something that's a little more fun. Let me go down here to the special effects and select bouncy. Let's see what that looks like. That'll work for this demo. So I'm just going to go up and just maybe slow it down a little bit as it comes in. Three seconds. Let's preview that. Yeah, that's good. And you'll notice the selection down here, this menu, you can select which direction you want the object to uh, originate. So we're going to do from the left for this. It works pretty well. You can choose from the right or just random, but we'll leave it from the left. All right, now we have the animations on all of our elements. It's now time to sequence these animations so they go in the order that I want them to go. And to help me make that happen, I'm going to go down here and select the Build Order button. And here is the Build Order panel. And this panel helps you sequence your animations. All right, so let's look here at this first element, and that is the video, if I select that. So I want the video to start automatically when the video starts. So to do that, with it selected, I'll go down to the bottom here, and under the Start menu, instead of on click, which would mean I would have to click in order to get the movie to play, I want it to start automatically, when the slide starts, I'll select After Transition. And I'll leave Delay set to zero so that the video starts right away. All right, the next element I want to animate on is this heading text at the top here. So I can select it here on the slide, and it'll show up here in the build order. And so I want the heading text to start right after the video starts playing. So to do that, with the heading text on camera fear selected, I'll go back down to the Start menu, and I'll select from the menu After Build 1, which is the video starting. So I'll select that. And I want it to start a little bit later, or a little bit after the video starts. So in the delay here, I'm going to put in one second. All right, the next element I'm going to animate is the sub heading here, tip number one. So I'll select it here in the Build Order panel, and I want it to start after the heading text. So I'll go back down to the Start menu, and from the menu, select After Build 2. 
And I'll leave the delay at zero seconds because I want to start right away. All right, then we have our emoji element here. So I'll select that in the build order panel. And I'm gonna have the emoji bounce in after all the text is on screen. So with it selected, I'll go back down. And from the start menu, select after build three. And this time I wanna have a longer delay because I want the emoji to come in sort of as I'm speaking, after I speak for a few seconds. So I'm gonna go here to the delay and I'm gonna put in three seconds. Now, if you wanna preview everything, including the video, we just go up to the top menu here in Keynote and select the play button. And we can see everything and how it works. One of the biggest obstacles to putting yourself out there on YouTube is the fear of judgment and criticism. It gets in your head, you become self-conscious, and then you just give up because you're just too afraid. One of the most effective ways to get out of your own... Okay, I'm going to hit escape to get out of the others. playback here. Where you have to... Everything looks pretty good, except I don't want the emoji to stay on screen the whole time during the video. I'd like it to exit the screen at some point. So to do that, I'm going to select the emoji on my slide, go back down and select the build order button. Here's the build order panel. And with the emoji selected, I'm gonna go back up to the animation section here and select the build out button. And now I'm gonna add an effect and I'm just gonna dissolve it out, keep it simple. So I'll select dissolve and have it dissolve out. I'll go back to the build order panel and with the emoji dissolve selected, I'm gonna go back down to the start menu and select after build four so that it dissolves after it comes on, which is build four. So I'll select that and I'll give it a delay of one second just so to give it some time. All right, let's preview this whole thing by going back up to the top menu and selecting the play button. One of the biggest obstacles to putting yourself out there on YouTube is the fear of judgment and criticism. It gets in your head, you become self-conscious, and then you just give up because you're just too afraid. Hit escape to get out of that. All right, that timing worked pretty well. So the last thing to do is to export this as a video. So to do that, we go up to the top menu and select File, Export to Movie. And we get the export dialog. Movie is selected. We want to make sure that the slide is set to self-playing. Slides all is fine because we only have one slide. We don't have to worry about these settings. Now for resolution, we're going to make sure that the resolution matches the aspect ratio of our vertical slide, of our vertical video. So to do that under custom, make sure custom is selected. And we're going to put in our custom settings that we used for the slide. So that was 1080 by 1920. It automatically does it for you when you tab forward. So those are the proper dimensions. We'll leave frame rate at 30 frames per second. I'm gonna change compression type to H.264 because it's a more universal format for all of the different online platforms. All right, I'll go down and select next. And I'll get the save dialog. I'm gonna save this to the desktop and I'll leave the file name as is and hit export. And my vertical video is exported. All right, let's have a look at the final product. So I'll click and drag the video onto the screen here, make sure it's selected and hit the space bar. One of the biggest obstacles to putting yourself out there on YouTube is the fear of judgment and criticism. It gets in your head, you become self-conscious and then you just give up because you're just too afraid. So there you go. Now I just scratched the surface in terms of animation and graphics and things you can do with Apple Keynote. It truly is a really powerful application. And like I said earlier, you can now take this vertical video and upload it to Instagram and then caption it and then save it and then upload that caption video to other platforms.